Hello, this is Nick from Breaker Press Games, and today we're going to talk about regaining luck in Dungeon Crawl Classics. Alright, so... Before we get into it, if you're a fan of Breaker Press Games and uh, the series of videos that I've been doing on DCC Basics, you can support Breaker Press Games through our Patreon or uh, picking up one of these sweet Precipice of Corruption t-shirts through the Breaker Press store. Uh, you can also find our products on the Goodman Game Store, DriveThruRPG, itch.io, um, Exalted Funeral. You can find it all over the place. So, that being said, let's get to regaining luck. So, this video was done by request. Uh, it was requested by um, uh, some call me Steve75, uh, Jeff Malam, and then a couple of other people piled on when they uh, found out that that was going to be a video that was coming up. But uh, that being said, um, I had to do a, a video on alignment first because alignment is very uh, much tied into your ability to regain luck. So check out the alignment video over here. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's talk about regaining luck. So the universe is governed by rulers greater than the characters. Your characters are just pawns in that cosmic struggle. So that being said, your connection to alignment. Luck is a practical mechanism to keep the PCs within their alignment. So PCs who consistently act out of alignment should receive a permanent luck penalty. Now that is something that is actually said here in this spread on 360 to 361 on the DCC rulebook. Uh, so those that exemplify their alignment should see it improve as they are favored by the gods or demons that they serve. So getting into it specifically. So gaining and losing luck. Now, uh, you can uh, right a great wrong, you can uh, aid, in, uh, aid in, a, in an important quest, uh, you can defeat uh, a creature that is tied to uh, the opposed alignment, and any of these actions are worth plus one to plus three luck. So, for example... Uh, let's say you are uh, playing the Precipice of Corruption and you're lawful, you get to the uh, the final encounter and you take down Gorsek the Lidless. Hey, that's worth, you know, plus two or plus three luck. Now, if, for example, you chose your uh, Chaos-aligned uh, character and when Gorsek the Lidless demands that you kneel, if you made the decision to kneel and thus serve Gorsek the Lidless, well, that would be worth a bonus to your luck. Now, let's talk about losing luck. So, uh, things that might cause you to, learn, uh, to lose luck might be burning down a temple, slaying a loyal servant. Uh, those types of things, you are going to draw the ire of the, the powers of uh, potentially the opposed alignment to your own uh, by doing those things, and those things could cause you to have a mechanical consequence. Now, you might argue that, well, it, you know, by burning down that temple, I was serving my deity and those things would cancel out. Yes, very much so. That that can happen. Um, but let's say you, you are a... Uh, uh, a lawful uh, a servant to lawful gods and you burn down let's say the temple of a neutral god uh that uh is you know about survival or the wilderness something you know mundane like that well then you probably deserve the ire of those gods so uh those things once again uh it would be a negative one to negative three modifier or not modifier adjustment to your luck uh, all of those adjustments are actually listed on this chart down here on 361 uh, there is more additional information there um, but that is the crux of it uh, acting out of alignment disobedience of your god or obedience to your god finding favor with a magical creature um, that is aligned to a specific thing you'll notice that alignment is referenced again and again and again and again in the rules for regaining luck so the long and short of it is uh watch the video on alignment have a good understanding of law versus chaos and then 
when you're looking at your characters in your games, your PCs, you need to look at, you know, are they observing their alignment? If they are acting in accordance with their alignment, then that is probably a reason to, at the end of the session, give them luck back. Uh, if they are acting out of accordance with their alignment or if they're really doing something that would upset an opposed power but isn't necessarily beneficial to the power that they represent, um, then that might be a negative. So uh, I hope that gives you a better understanding of how regaining luck works. Now, it should be said that uh, in all things DCC, you are the... As the judge, you are the arbitrator of the destiny of the PCs. So if you don't want to tie it to alignment, you just think, hey, they had they engaged in some great role play, or uh, there was a, a a moment that was just completely epic, and you loved that you got to experience that with your players. Those are reasons that you could uh, give luck back to the to the PCs, um, but. You know, it should should be understood. Like I personally use those types of things as a way to give additional experience points as opposed to luck. Um, but if you feel that they are burned down to nothing uh, and that resource uh, needs to be filled back up, you know, alignment is the number one way to do it. That is the prescribed way in the Dungeon Crawl Classics rulebook. Um, but uh, you can come up with alternative methods as well. So that was my, uh, my thoughts on regaining luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, check out alignment, check out the uh, burning luck video. Uh, if you have a video that you would like to see happen, I love getting suggestions from the uh, viewing audience. Uh, yeah, if you've got a question about Dungeon Crawl Classics and you want to uh, find out more about it, hey, hit me up and I will do the research. Uh, that being said, thank you for supporting uh, Indie Games and Indie Game Designers. This is Nick from Breaker Press Games. You have a fantastic week and I will talk to you all soon.